ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our first networking meeting of July. And I'm Jones, your webinar host from Net24. And today I would love to welcome Ms. Eva from Warsaw School of Economics and Mr. Kemal from Study in Poland. And Warsaw School of Economics is very well known for a lot of students in Poland for their pink campus and uh, their masterpiece in all the hallways. They are very famous for their finance and accounting and economics and management majors. Thank you, Jones. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to thank you for network for to organize this uh, lovely webinars i always uh, uh, follow them with their organization and especially the old staff always friendly and responsive uh, so uh, they are really uh, doing a very great job and uh, and they are they are growing you know only the uh, actually they were they're supposed to grow faster than now only pandemic time uh, uh, they have to be silent uh, a little bit, but after that, uh, they are really uh, growing very fast and I'm continuing to follow them. I will talk about who we are, what we do. Uh, as a person, my, I started study abroad business uh, from 2003 when I was a university student in Turkey. And um, in 2006, I sent my first students to Poland uh, when I was in an agency in Turkey. And uh, I can say that as officially as an agency from Turkey to Poland, I was the first guy sending students to, to Poland. I'm proud of it. In, in 2006, nobody know about the study in Poland in Turkey. And actually, it's not a bet. I can say the name. I, I sent my first students to Wazarski. Uh, uh, um, it, it was the one of the private universities at the time that we can work with. And But after 2006, then now it's really grown uh, a lot of, uh, you, you, I can see that how the difference, I, I visited, I came in Poland at that time with my Polish visa actually. Uh, again, I'm proud of that one. I didn't came here to with Schengen visa. Uh, so I can see and uh, observe the, the, the difference, what happens on that almost uh, 20 years, uh, 15 years. So it's the, the study abroad business, uh, especially English uh, studies, it has grown very uh, uh, rapidly. And I can see the, the, the uh, even for the public universities. So I'm very happy that I am in the uh, Zoom meeting with agencies and with the one public university, one of the best public university in economy and business. So uh, if it could be a dream, 20 years ago, but now we have a, a Zoom meeting with agencies and with a, the public university. So who we are uh, as a company, we, uh, we established uh, 15 years ago and we recruit many students from the different countries. I, I want to talk about Poland, maybe um, most of these agencies could know about the Poland, but very quickly, I want to introduce about Poland. Why Poland? Um, first, it's a, a EU country and a member of NATO. And um, a lot of people ask about uh, what will happen next if there will be there was a war next to us. So I said, if there's any problem with Poland, it means that we have a World War Three. So don't worry about that one. So uh, it's not our business. So just focus what you want to do. So it's it's one of the safest country uh, in the according to European uh, statistic. It's the third safest country in Europe. So the countries like Germany, Netherlands, France. That I mean, especially France, not very safe as you should see. So we will we don't have any problems like uh, th these countries uh, because ninety five percent of the people is Polish here. So it's uh, there is no problem for I mean international people are welcoming and uh, you you of course nationalism is everywhere but it's I I mean I am living in Poland uh, now it's almost five years I never uh, have a situation about you know, racism or uh, any all uh, any uh, I mean actually it's opposite um, the, when they see that you're foreigner they are more kind. And uh, of course, I live in Warsaw. Maybe this it is the reason that uh, why they feel like that. But I never have a, uh, have a situation like that. 
And as un unemployment, um, we are very good. Uh, we are lowest than uh, um, European Union average, and in, especially in Warsaw, it was 2.5. Uh, so it is easy to find a job here in Poland. And very quickly, I will show. This is the the cities that you can see. So we have normally Poland is always, you know, uh, it's very good for cycling. It's you always. Uh, the plain uh, places, but we have mountains too, and we have a, a sea, and uh, it is very uh, uh, opposite of the, the general countries. We have mountains in south, we have sea in north, so generally it's opposite, but in Poland uh, it is uh, different, and it's very lovely uh, mountains in, in, in Tatra mountains, very nice. Um, so we do we are uh, we can call ourselves master agency so we call uh, we work with uh, private and public universities so we are helping agencies uh, to um, uh, when they send their students we are arranging uh, um, these are our services airport pickup accommodation orientation special legal legal services because students come here with temporary visa uh, and then they have to apply TRC temporary residence permit so we are helping on that all processes with them and uh, now we started our we operate our own accommodation so this is the main problem in Wa Poland Warsaw actually Eva sorry I didn't mention you about that before uh, it is it's quite new so uh, we will run apartments we will have our own apartments and we will run um, a hostel, uh, hotel in, in Villano. So this is the, the I can show the apartment. This will be student houses, and and uh, this will be the the, the hotel in Villano. Um, so uh, uh, the, the main problem that we see in, in Poland uh, from our side, we we find a solution for that. Uh, Eva Eva can talk about more about Esgeha. Esgeha is the best uh, business school in, in Poland and as a location as a building and a very centralized place it's just next to one of the popular uh, metro station there but she can talk more about that one and they have really amazing departments and um, they are normal they are not they don't want to work with a lot of agencies so we are the one of the uh, they are now working with uh, three agencies we are one of them we're proud of it and we wish to continue that relation and we already sent uh, several students to them and this is our contact details so you can email to us admission at studying or marketing at studying eu and this is the whatsapp uh, number we have zalo uh, for uh, vietnamese students whatsapp uh, number and we are very centralized uh, you see that uh, we have uh, we, our office is very in centrum this is the palace culture. It is not a background, a fake background. This is real uh, image. Thank you very much, Kemal. It was a great presentation. So I couldn't Go keep work. my promise, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You were very passionate. We love that. Thank yeah. you. Okay, Eva, we look forward to hearing from you now. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Kamal, for this introduction. Uh, my name is uh, Eva. I work uh, at the admissions office of Warsaw School of Economics. Uh, um, my day-to-day -day job is to uh, deal with international students from more than 50 countries. Usually we admit students from more than 50, even sometimes 60 countries all around the world. Uh, we take care of their admission. Uh, we organize uh, also adaptation days for them. We take care of their documents uh, and we try to make uh, their first days in Poland a little easier. Uh, because obviously international students face a lot of challenges after they come to another country, and we are completely aware of that. Uh, I will tell you today a little bit about uh, our school, um, some few words about Warsaw. Uh, Kemal already introduced our uh, beautiful country to you, so I will just <laughs> limit myself to speak about a little bit about the capital, about rankings, um, accreditations that we have, business partners, and so on, okay? I'm also not going to be, uh, it's, this presentation is going to be around 15 minutes, and then afterwards uh, you can ask uh, any questions that you uh, have, okay? So hopefully I will be able to change slides too. <laughs> 
Yes. Okay. So um, uh, for those of you who do not know Warsaw, this is the capital city of Poland, one of the fastest growing cities in Europe. Uh, we have uh, nearly 2 million people living here, uh, but this is not officially, but if you add all the students and right now all the uh, Ukrainian guests that we have is much, much, much more. Uh, this is also the largest academic center in Poland. So we have more than 60 universities here, both private and, and and state uh, universities. So it's a great place to be a student because there's more than 300,000 students around. Uh, so lots of parties, <laughs> lots of places to go for students. Uh, sometimes obviously trouble with accommodation, but uh, fortunately study in has a solution for that. And it's a, just an exceptional place in Warsaw just to be as a, as an inhabitant, as a tourist. Uh, it's, um, it's a city that has changed a lot in the last 20 years. I've been living here myself for the 20 years. And uh, when I came here in 2003, it was a much sadder and, and, and a gloomier place. And right now is just like a vibrant, beautiful city that, uh, that I highly recommend for you to visit. Um, it's, it's, it has changed a lot, really. It's like a, it's like a postcard right now of, of, of Poland. Uh, this is our campus. Uh, our campus is uh, located uh, just in the center of, uh, of Warsaw. Uh, this huge pink building is <laughs> recognizable for anyone living in Warsaw. Uh, and, it, and it has been around uh, for many, many years because our school was established in 1906. So it is a, it is a, um, um, a historic building and we, we have a long history. Uh, um, 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 uh, my, so my brother is architect. They call these buildings landmark, like a bookmark yeah. landmark. It's a yes. landmark because you you give the direction from you know you. They don't know that it is a as yeah. They said you know the peak building. You know. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Everyone recognizes it in Warsaw. It is a very well connected, as you said, because we have a just uh, the underground station just next to it. So we just leave the the, the metro and you get in. Uh, all all our buildings buildings actually because we have more than one uh, this this main building is called building G uh, for some reason and then next to it there is a building A and uh, 500 meters from there there's building C and uh, something that you may find interesting there is a brand new building in construction and it's going to be a sustainable ecological building and it's going to be located also 400 meters from there next to Stodowa, the famous uh, concert hall uh, <laughs> known for students as well. So they are if, all, if, yes. Even from the picture, you can, they can see the, the entrance of the metro actually. Yeah, the, exactly. The, the, that tunnel, that ta like that there is a like a tunnel. It is, you enter the metro directly yeah. from there. And, and also the district is really nice. It's called Mokotov. It's also a historical district, very beautiful district in Warsaw. So our students do not have to commute that much because they are very, uh, they are just connected. Uh, so all the buildings are in close vicinity. You don't have to travel between the buildings. You just walk uh, between them. Uh, inside the building, there are many co-working spaces, uh, so-called silent spaces. Uh, obviously, Wi-Fi is, is, is nothing to, to bra brag about because it's everywhere. Uh, we have also free laptop access in the buildings. Uh, we have beautiful library, um, also built in 1906. Um, PE classes in many, many disciplines. We do not have many facilities uh, around our buildings, but we we just rent those facilities from other organizations, and we have plenty of those too. Uh, there are also free Polish classes for international students. And there are three canteens for those who are hungry and want to grab a quick lunch between classes. Uh, there's lots of vending machines and so on. So the infrastructure is everything is there. So we don't have to worry about as a student. It's a very uh, well equipped uh, and nice, nicely located uh, building. Okay, and and um, apart from infrastructure. Um, in the ranking, so the most important ranking uh, in Poland, it's called uh, Perspektywy. It is published every year, and it was actually published a couple of days ago uh, on the June 9th, 29th. Um, there was a new ranking from from the last year, and uh, our university was uh, again. Uh, voted the best economic university in Poland. Uh, so we are again <laughs> number one. Uh, so we are ahead of the, all, all, all of the other universities. Um, uh, we are still number one in the fields of finance, uh, accounting, economics, management, and uh, which we are very proud of, graduates in the labor market. 
so this is something that you may also advertise uh, among your students because it's not only about getting a diploma I think it's about a getting a diploma which means something that is recognizable in the labor market and SGH uh, diploma is definitely uh, one of those uh, so uh, graduates in the labor market which means that more than not more like almost barely 100 percent of our students find work after <laughs> after the graduate which is something i guess they're looking for apart from student life and 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 so on okay uh, so again last year we were uh, we were number one not only in actually in poland but in general in central europe uh, too. We also have many accreditations. I've chosen uh, two that uh, are also recognizable uh, around the world. The first one is Equis, uh, granted by European Training Foundation for Best Business Schools. Only 200 business schools around the world uh, ha have it and uh, 105 in Europe. So we have Equis, we are Equis accredited, and we have also AMBA, uh, which is granted to best MBA programs uh, in the world because we not only have bachelor's, master's programs, but as a state university with a long history, we offer also doctoral studies, MBA and, and, uh, and so on. Also MBA in English together with Canadian uh, Business School. Uh, uh, we also, um, in 1998, so a long time ago, we established a uh, so-called SGH Corporate Partners Club. And this, um, this business club includes uh, right now almost 100 companies. Uh, they are banks, consulting companies. Uh, you can see some of the logos like Google, Accenture, Deloitte, L'Oreal, Microsoft, Samsung, and so on. These are our partners because we, we as a university, our mission is to stay very close to the labor market. So we would like to students, our students to, uh, to learn things that are useful and things that uh, employers look for in, in, their, in their future employees, which is very, very important for us. Uh, our students do not have any issues in finding internships. We have our database of internships. Um, most students, uh, after the internship decides to work for that company some of them uh, have different options so but uh, but at the same time uh, remember that internships are obligatory in Poland they are a part of uh, course curriculum so both bachelor's and master's students they do have to have a, like three weeks four weeks internship but SGH students have no trouble finding a business partner or a company wanting to have them on board <laughs> because when they see that they're SGH student they know they have this business acumen needed for uh, for the future uh, future business managers and so on uh, I will say also a few words about international opportunities as SGH, because I know that many international students uh, who come to Poland ask about Erasmus program, for instance. Um, so our international office is very active uh, on that area. We have more than 60 international uh, partners from every EU country, EFTA and, and more. We also offer double degree. Uh, double degrees are not offered on a, uh, for every particular study program but for five or six of them and then I will redirect you on our website to see where to find information about that uh, so Erasmus is available basically for um, every student who is interested obviously there are there are some requirements like uh, you have a you have to have a particular um, average and so on but uh, but for most students it's possible to uh, to leave on uh, uh, on Erasmus program. We also a part of uh, a Civica Alliance, which is also very a very interesting thing. Um, uh, we've been a part of Civica for almost two years now. Uh, one of our partners is, for instance, London School of Economics, uh, Bocconi University from, from Milan, and so on. So this is like an, an alliance of social science universities, and students can... Um, can, for instance, participate in classes together with students from London School of Economics, some from Paris or from uh, uh, from other like top universities in Europe. They can also go on a separate Erasmus program uh, where they have places for students from there. Uh, and they, there are many like um, common projects. So they work with students from all around the world, from the best universities. So Civica is also something we're really, really uh, proud of, to be like a part of those 
uh, those prestigious uh, prestigious schools. We also have some something called SAMS, which is an international master's in management. Mm -hmm. I'm not an expert in that area. You would have to go to our website and read about it because it's an international office taking care of that. So if you're um, interested in international opportunities at SGH, just go to our website to the section student and international programs and you will find everything um, uh, you need. Uh, so we're now talking about our program portfolio. So we have nine uh, bachelor's uh, level bachelor's programs, four in English, uh, 18 masters, uh, five in English, uh, but we have also 150 postgraduate programs, which are super popular among um, people who have already graduated from university, but would like to gain some more skills. Most of them, unfortunately, are in Polish, <laughs> but five or six are in English as well. So this is uh, for someone who is maybe for international students who maybe are already in Warsaw and they would like to uh, expand their horizons a little bit. We have also four uh, MBA programs, eight doctoral programs, and the SAMS that I uh, told you about. So um, I mentioned my, our website, which is uh, which is uh, really updated regularly. <laughs> so you won't find there any obsolete information and so on. So we try to to keep it up to date uh, um, always. So uh, this is the, the the website in English, and um, I uh, did some screenshots here to show you what happens if you go to the section candidate for instance, first cycle studies, and you click on one of the programs. I chose uh, Global Business Finance and Governance, which is very popular among international students. And you can see that you can read here about career prospects, about the specializations we offer, mode and duration of study, admission tuition, uh, different benefits, and double degree programs that I mentioned. So here you have uh, all the universities that we cooperate with uh, to do this double degree. So for instance, it's uh, in this case of global business, it's a university in China, in Germany, two universities in Germany, and one in South Korea. Uh, so... Uh, as I told you, not every program has this opportunity, but uh, some of them uh, do. So I recommend to check our website if you would like to see more. Uh, there are also some short videos uh, presenting programs with our students talking about that. Um, uh, so just uh, go check yourself if you'd like to have more information, but because I won't obviously describe now every program that we offer. Um, about language classes, uh, this is something that we're also proud of because most universities teach their students only one language. We uh, want our graduates to speak fluently two languages when they leave university. Uh, so obviously English is a must right now <laughs> to work, to, to, to function in the, in the business world, but we also teach uh, German, French, Russian, uh, and Spanish. And uh, uh, if we have uh, international students studying in English, they can also choose Polish uh, from scratch uh, as a part of their curriculum. So for ACTS, so it's not like a commercial course, so they can again gain ACTS points. Um, uh, for if, if you would like to study other language, we never start from the beginning, so you have to know that language a little bit. Uh, that's why after you graduate, you know it uh, almost fluently. So you basically leave university speaking two languages, which is also a huge advantage uh, when you look for work afterwards. Uh, so these are the three steps uh, towards admission. But obviously, if you would like to know and find out more about admission, you contact study in and they will tell you everything about it there. As Kamal said, one of our uh, three partners uh, that we cooperate with. We don't have uh, many agents uh, because we prefer to have a few good agents <laughs> than plenty, plenty of small ones. So, uh, so uh, I redirect you to Kemal to contact with them, and they will tell you everything. It's a, it's a quite an easy process. I will just tell you uh, a little bit about the language requirements uh, because. Uh, many students ask about that. So how how well should I know English to, to access SGH and so on? It's not that bad as you think because you have to know English at B2 level minimum. 
but you can prove it with your uh, certificate or a university diploma where English was the medium of instruction and we accept most of the certificates. For instance, we are we accept IELTS with 5.5, um, which many universities do not accept. If a student does not have any document confirming their language proficiency, they can take an interview with us too, uh, which is also a good thing because we know that not everyone uh, has like means also and possibility to 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 pass this certificate not every country has this opportunity gives this opportunity so we 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 also accept students based on the uh on the interview uh, this is the link for an application for for study in i was an agent and i worked with many business schools um first as yeah is you know the the the, with the same quality uh universities when you are looking for for example, in France, for example, especially there are a lot of business schools. Now in Germany, it is uh, increasing that business schools. But when you uh, discuss with the the price and the quality and the the the, 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 and the public one, general these are the the, the private one. I mean, uh, Esga is much more better than them. I mean, you cannot discuss because the the, the especially the, the the certificates what they have. And the quality of the education when you discuss it, it doesn't make sense to spend a lot of money in that institutions. Um, uh, so I can strongly suggest um, as the, as a business school if they are if you want to especially in master degree uh, they have really different uh, opportunities. So and another side uh, I mean this is I can say that Eva effect. Uh, we can communicate with admission very uh, easily if we have any problem. I mean, I generally, uh, even uh, when we emailing, uh, we continue the relation with WhatsApp too with her. So it is, if, if any problem we have, it is easy to, even if, I mean, we are working like a private university, for, so we love it. So, uh, and another issue that if your English is not enough and if you are really want to study in SGH, but because they don't have, English preparation, what can we do? You can come through us to Poland with uh, any, any of the nurses that we are working with for English preparation. And then the next year you can move as yeah. But uh, English preparation in Poland, it doesn't mean that um, when you pass any English, for example, X uh, university, if you study English preparation, it doesn't mean that as yeah will accept you directly. But their their um, application process is very smooth, and they do on online meet, meeting. And uh, if they accept it, your English is enough. Even even in the reality, if you got IELTS 5.0, but in the in the that online conversation, if they are satisfied, then they will accept your English. So it is um, uh, easy to accept, and uh, and then and, and, and most of the countries that. Diploma, if they want to study for bachelor, your, for example, for Kazakhstan, uh, for uh, 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 the, the some of the countries, that it's 11 years. If they want to study in the UK, they have to study foundation program. So in Poland, we don't have any problem. I have also many friends who are also attending uh, SGH, let's say. They choose to study there because they want to gain knowledge in another level. It's like, um, for example, they are having bachelor in some some other universities, but still, if they want to have that master degrees or something, they like to choose uh, SGH. And like um, the honor of having the certificate of SGH is like having IELTS. 8.0 you know so <laughs> it is something to uh really scale it probably we'll see each other at uh net 24 in october if there is any more special they can email to us as soon as we have the answer um and that some answers will not make them happy but we will try to do the um you know so we'll answer anyway yeah <laughs> yeah exactly exactly yeah thank you so much thank you for joining and uh i hope i'm looking forward to seeing your students uh at sgh yes thank you sure Goodbye. thank Have you a nice thank day you for ahead. participants thank you for agencies for their time and uh, thank you jones you organizing this one and thank you eva thank you thank you this is the way we can say <laughs> okay thank you goodbye have a nice goodbye. day bye. 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 Bye.